under, and I saw this um, this video he sent me. It was back then. What did they call them? Video or VHS or whatever. And I was kind of ignorant in a way, kind of not developed intellectually about this. And I kind of got scared of it. And I closed it up and put it back in in a drawer. And uh, because it came with a little sticky pad on there saying, enjoy, Karen. And I thought, how does he know me? And I still to this day don't know. Now I know more because of all I'm learning on how all this operates from military to ET, but most of it I think is driven by our friends. I, I really do. So that's all I can say for right now. That you have. Okay. Oh, let's see. You're out of time. Back to you, TJ. Are you there? Okay, I had to get off. Yeah, I had to get off mute. mute. Okay, well, 93, the Philadelphia Experiment. Uh, Preston Nichols and Peter Moon. Uh, Peter Moon, that's uh, Vince's name, but I don't know if uh, Vince goes by Peter Moon. And he had the series Montauk Project with Sky Books. And somehow or another, the government, uh, that 93, 94, when I was in Hawaii, that's when I met Janet. And uh, uh, I was with Dr. Lars Sturgis, and I was sent to Maui, Hawaii, to uh, talk to Dr. Lesson. So uh, our story gets, the plot thickens with Karen because she found her way to Karen and Dr. Les, I mean, to Janet and Dr. Lesson, as did I. But I thought my connection through Janet was through uh, the, uh, I didn't know it was through Montauk and Preston Nichols and Peter Moon. Uh, because she came to me later about Stargate to the Cosmos. And I want people to uh, know that there's nothing similar to having an event called anything to do with Stargate or Heaven's Gate. But I saw on Dateline recently, I wanted to mention oh, that, yeah. that we're not trying to create anything like a following <laughs> like Heaven's Gate of those people that did what they did with 39 people. But that lately that's that's puts the fear in you because you're trying to, you know, do this. But this is supposed to be like how we use our words. And I know that Preston knew I was interested because I was an investigator, but I was in Hawaii. But he was very uh, – he, he was – he was interested in me, but he was curious because we were using the uh, vibra sound, and Dr. Lars Sturgis had gotten one and put me on it, and uh, I was having to go to the Whole Life Expo and the Eco Expo and all the stuff that Dr. Sturgis was interested in with people synergistically involved, but she wouldn't go to it, size seminars, but she had a Ph.D., and so did Dr. Lesson. So neither one of them went to size seminars, but we were studying holodynamics, and we were doing uh, therapy, and we were doing hypnosis, and I was teaching classes on holodynamics, hypnosis, and uh, metaphysics, and all of that next to Dr. Sturgis in Maui. But I was sent over because we wanted a spiritual community, and ours was growing, so we were combining because one of our spiritual teachers was leaving, going back to the mainland, and I was going to take over for all the Ph.D. level types that didn't want to be involved in all this at a certain psychic level or do this because they didn't do psychic work, but they treated people or were therapy people like Dr. Lesson and Dr. Sturgis. But uh, Nichols, we had a deal to do with going off planet in our minds where we would go back into the inner circle and the Stargate, and that's what the government was involved in because we were all meeting together, and Janet can talk about her table tapping or her – this guy was doing – uh, impersonations and channeling, and I was channeling, but my channel, Ascension Age, it channeled the book that I wanted Janet uh, help to for the Ascension Age because the ETs gave me a symbol that came down with a, a lightning like Thor and split a tree. And I was telling people all this, but I hadn't written books to talk about all this wacky stuff, and I didn't know it was New Age stuff. So I was reading all I could, and I was working at the bookstores as a psychic, and it got all confused because there was people with the Montauk, and there was people with uh, uh, Stuart Anderson with time travel and Andrew Bashago with the Pegasus, community trying to say that we do this anyway with our minds and he was trying to give it words like you travel in your mind and I think Andy was 
a smart attorney, but you know, that got him credibility. So the, all these names were coming up in my life, but I didn't know how to put them together. I still don't because it's such a wacky story about time travel and using your mind to talk with ESP and an extraterrestrial level of us, and yet we call it spirituality, but we call it out-of-body near-death experiences, and we call it channeling, and we call it being in touch with ETs. And then I had the, the exposure to the real physical reality in, underground and in uniform and working with people you know, like, uh, what was it, Clifford Stone. So Clifford Stone was involved, and uh, I have so many names that I didn't know. I've never met them, but it's like Karen said, or her husband. She didn't know that uh, Dolores Cannon was part of this, and she was in the Air Force and her husband, and she learned uh, her own technique by helping people. And I, I believe it was the government, our NSA and CIA, because they all wanted to push us all together. I believe that some form of government keeps up with anybody dealing with metaphysics, psychics, ESP, mm-hmm. uh, all those people, and Stanford Institute. And we were the volunteers or just curious people that had experiences, but they didn't want to have to pay us all, but they also didn't want us to all wake up. At that time, they were trying to keep us all apart. So I was trying to bring us all together, and I think uh, that's how the it, the warp of aliens and time travel and wormholes and all that got put together because the government wanted to keep it secret. That's why we have all those disclosures and those uh, non-compete and uh, patents and people that work because the government keeps their scientists and engineers and the universities all for themselves. So the governments can own all the money and the control. So it has to do with greed, power, and control on one level, and the ETs know that. But they also are trying to advance the entire human race. So I believe the Roswell story had to do with advancing all of us to the higher levels that we exist in multi-dimensions and realms that we're not even aware of yet because we're living in the Matrix came out, 89 or 92, didn't it? So the Matrix became a part of this, as did. They were waking up the science world to compete with the religion world to keep us all at odds, which worked for a while. Well, so Keita, I think it's finally out of time. opening up. We're going to go one final round. Can I ask one question? Yeah, you're out of time. Before. Go ahead. Your, your turn. We're going to go four minute uh-huh. rounds because we're running out of time. Go ahead. Your turn. I just wanted to ask a question now about this sure. with uh, Preston Nichols, TJ. Uh, so how did I just want to know quick? How did Preston Nichols know of you? Uh, through the vibration, did you run into him a, uh, is, is it how did, did he seek you out, or, uh, or he he was working thing? with Al Belick and uh, that Cameron guy. Yeah. He was working with two other well, men I plus Vince. Duncan Cameron. <clears throat> Duncan Cameron. Yeah. So Duncan right, had Duncan ESP. Cameron. How did you meet him? He. Well, but Karen I'm was on the how list. How did you meet? Because how do, how do how did he know about me? You're on the list. Excuse me. I was on a list. You're on the list. Yeah, you're on a list as a point of contact because all of us ESP people well, were on that on a list for the government. Well, see, I thought I was because when I yeah. gathered these two friends to go out to Garland to check out this event, I mean, I had a drive inside of me to do this, and so did these other people. And we had a force within our solar plexus region that we had to go out there and see what Allende had left. And so we were brave enough and silly enough to do it, and uh, and then they then he we we just kept getting in touch, and I even that's when I talked to the lady in Arizona named Beth. I wish I could have remembered her name, and she told me about David Childress, and she told me about Al Belick, and then I realized that Paula had known these people, and that you had been met, that you had been together or known or. Had been sought out by President Nichols, so I think this is just amazing. Now this is a definite uh, confirmation on some end, and this is ET. I do believe. That. Yeah, well, we did a show Those with people... Preston, didn't we, TJ? TJ, yeah. didn't we do a One show of... with Preston? Was that me and yeah, you? Yeah, you and I. One or two yeah, shows. Yeah, you and I. Mm-hmm. It's on here somewhere, but we didn't. 
uh, we didn't have a very good show with him because he was wanting to talk to me different than the show, and he would uh, he'd get mad at me because I was supposed to be working with Stuart Anderson, and I was on social you paranormal mean, d- domain with Stuart Anderson. You mean Preston, anyway, Preston I think he, Nichols? Yeah, well, we're I talking about Preston Nichols. I just, uh-huh. I just want to say one thing. Also, inside this, cool. this uh, video, he sent a picture of his house where everything from floor to ceiling were computers, and he was in there. Yeah, those were, uh, those were like government. And, and he said uh, this is government. what he sees to watch the world. They were transistors. Well, what were they called? There were equipment with handles on the side, but they were like radio transceivers. He, had a, he collected them, they, uh, uh, uh-huh. and it was old uh, equipment like we used as radio transceivers. So he was really big well, he into all that he could look stuff. in the houses, right? And he wanted oh, yeah, to he had see that. Isn't that interesting? Uh-huh. Yeah, the government had that. And when I worked for U.S. Express, we could see on the interstate from all the computers, on the pictures, mm-hmm. videos of people driving and stuff. And then they taught us about the satellites. Right. So we had that in the 80s and 90s. But the government didn't yeah, let people was... know we all had it before we had the. Uh, I guess uh, David Gates and Apple. I don't know because I haven't done a research on how that works. But I did write a few books with the stuff I did know and names, but that's all changed now because I'm smarter. But I haven't done a lot of well, research. Well, and I do have the name Peter Moon. Too. Peter, yeah, that, his name, name is Peter Moon. something. And, and he had yeah. written a book. It was a little paperback mm-hmm. book, so. Was Oh, so you knew yeah. Peter Moon. Well, Peter was, I think. I didn't uh, know him. He was, I didn't know him. He called me. He was uh, very sweet to me. He called me on my birthday and talked to me, but I wondered why he was being so nice to me because he was a, a publisher like alive? I was. I don't know. I think so. Yeah, P- Peter Moon's still alive. Yeah, I talk to Peter about once a year, twice a year. Oh, really? We do a, a very long show with him. Yeah, he's wonderful. I, well, that would be he's interesting. Great. He's like a nice guy. We always catch up. Was he friends with uh, yeah, Preston we, Nichols? Oh yeah, he wrote the book oh, for him. Yeah. He he published yeah, the book. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Have you? It was yeah. Albie like Duncan Cameron. Have you ever heard of the Mod Talk book? Yeah. Wait, one person at a time. Let me just ask a question. Uh, have you read any of the Mod Talk books? I recommend you get them so you can get amused. No, but I haven't. Read the Mod Talk series. It's about ten books. It's about ten books. I recommend you read them. Did you uh, read them? And then uh, if you can't read them, I did. Yes, I did. I read them all. Wow. wow. That's how I got into wow. it. I, I can't met, get you I to read one of my books. <laughs> have you read any well, of my I, books? I, I, I was in a reading phase. <laughs> I don't really have except that one. I did read it. Yeah, I did read the one. But Al, I met Al Billy at a conference. Um, oh, God, we have a lot of feedback. I'm not sure what's going on. But there's something on your computer. Do, is your do you turn your speaker down on your computer? No, my speaker's off. Because it's always from your side. Turn your speaker down on your side. Uh, always anyway, turn it to zero. I don't even one. have the speaker on at all. I don't have well, the speaker on at all. Well, I think right it's now. our little Those friends trying on. to be sweet. Well, maybe <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah, it, it may be even be else. Preston Nichols over there. Ninety. Yeah. Well, we're okay, out of time we're anyway, of time. Janet. Uh, yeah, we're out of time. Janet, go, try this again should we go Friday. back and listen? Karen, I need you to send me some pictures of you so I can have them in my computer. Okay, I will. I couldn't find here. one because I don't have one to talk about you on my computer. Oh. oh. Okay. Well, okay. I will, and I'll and send, I'll send me I'll some send too. Me some too. Okay. Oh, if I can get out, I have a hard time getting out of my, somebody or something controls my stuff. But I got an open message today. It says, it's, I'm looking at it right now. So I don't know how and why today, because all of a sudden everything will download all at once. and go ping, 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 ping on my phones like they're backed up for two weeks. But well, this I came off of Karen Gresham Nickel it's on the, Facebook. So, oh, which huh. I don't normally go to, and I'm cut off of Twitter for uh, some reason. Well, I uh, had I sent know. you a, a, a video of those little girls. 
Did you get that? Oh, is that what it was? That must be what it is. It's a, it's in the I'm messenger. Never, it says open message. It's it's a the little. All right. Yeah, don't worry about that. Don't be afraid of that. You have to yeah. touch that, mm-hmm. and the little girls will come up. Oh, and those okay. are little ET okay, girls. Okay, everybody say goodbye. Aloha. We're going to be off the air. So much love and blessings, everybody. <laughs> so we'll be-